either of you attach importance to the intake of breath being quiet as a way to sort of monitor whether the throat is relaxed? No. I think sometimes you have to take the air in so fast. If you're singing coloratura, you certainly have to. <laughs> you haven't got time to sort of think, oh, I'm breathing from down here. You do definitely have to take mouth breaths sometimes. But we don't want noisy breathing. We don't want noisy um, attacks. I shouldn't use the word attack, but noisy um, um, commencements to phrases, especially with, with uh, vowels and, and, and a great rush of air coming out and, and aspirating. Um, it, it, it is this, this it's, a, it's a very fine line of control. Why is the moment of attack and the moment of release often a difficulty for singers? Because they don't prepare it in their mind first. You have to think, though, I think I said before, you have to think of the phrase you are going to sing and you have to know where that note is. You don't have to sort of come to it and think now, now um, oh yes, it's, it's a G, now I'm, I'm all right. Um, and, but you, you've got to be bang on that note. You can't scoop up to it and you can't slide down to it. I have been accused of scooping and I, I, part of it is, is, is really interpretive, singing all, all these, these um, crazy women. They, they, they get a, <laughs> you want to get a morbid feeling to it, so there, there is, is often this, 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 this use of a... Of a but that, that falls into expression. That falls think. into expression and portamento, but we don't want portamenti all the time. Or that sort of, Zine, dine, is mine gone, so say, I'm sorry, I'm That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Should we distinguish between scooping and portamento? I mean, in other words, Hard to do. It's very hard to do. Very hard to distinguish between but, the two. Well, I mean, well, let, let me offer you a try and see if you can. <laughs> what? Let me offer you a try and see if you okay. can buy this. A scoop is an uncoordinated approximation of a pitch onto which you then set. That's right. And a portamento is a conscious, smooth motion of the voice from one intentionally achieved pitch to another intentionally achieved That's right, achieved. but you should also be able to do that just with the pure legato line. Can you Without demonstrate that? Yeah. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> serious, yes, because I think it's very difficult to tell the difference. <laughs> Too much portamento. Well, I was... <laughs> <laughs> now let's hear a scoop. <laughs> That's still schmaltz. <laughs> okay, I'll, all right, I'll buy that. <laughs> no, but seriously, here's the, the point. When, in the generation to which, in which you both were training, very few singers, especially in the English-speaking world, had any uh, concept of the proper use of portamento, and both of you did. Why? We read. Why? How did you get that? <laughs> we read books, we read treatises, we read, uh, we did vocalese, we, we learned about the, the bel canto period, how, how uh, uh, the music was interpreted, how what, the use of, of, of appoggiatura, portamento, and I think sometimes students today maybe don't read some of the wonderful literature that is around to help them. And, and you know, I remember also that I read these things with great interest. It was not a question like, oh, I must no. do this. I was anxious to get my hands on anything that could inform me about it or anything that I could learn. And so I just, I mean, this was really basically almost my leisure reading. So you were fascinated to find out, in a, in a historical sense almost, Absolutely. how people Absolutely. had sung. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, I and you encountered the idea of portamento in that? Or did teachers also teach well, it to you? I mean, only back to portamento, but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of honest the literature in a way. But um, um, as, as has been said often, my mother was a singer and had a very fine teacher. And she, of course, studied all the works of Garthia, Marchese, Concone, Giordano, Vacai, you name them, did all these wonderful vocalies. But along with doing the vocalese, they incorporated all the bel canto um, um, style. And the, the, the use of the portamento, the use of, of the messa di voce, the use of 
piano, thank you very much, and pianissimo, and, and the, the, the use of, 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 of injecting the, the nuance into the, into the sound. So you also, you had somebody at home that you were listening to who was doing the right thing. That's right, and then I also had a husband who made me do the right thing. <laughs> Sort of similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except it was father instead of mother. Yes. Well, it's, it was. A, you see, I, I think that a lot of the young uh, students today miss a lot because there's so much going on around them. We had no television. Barely had radio. We didn't have much money. We made simple simple amusement within the family in the home, and we. We sang, we sang, we played, somebody had a violin and we used to have little little do's, little evenings, and we had an opportunity to 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 use our voices or our, or our ability, musical ability. Nowadays there is so many distractions and, and I, I, I wonder whether maybe we, we, we got off to a flying start because of those those family do's. Uh, that, I agree with that, all of that, but let's, let's face it, we cannot get people to give up their televisions. <laughs> we I, cannot, I, I don't want to give up mine. Um, uh, we cannot get them to give up their computers, emails, all this kind of thing. And don't all of these things that we have, not to mention, you know, CDs, whatever your LPs, radio, but I think the big thing to do is to somehow a study has to be made of the student, and I really think it has to emanate from the, the student himself, because the student has to have the will, the desire, the want, whatever you want to call it, exactly. to seek out these books and to also seek out records and recordings of singers who really did it right. And you, I mean, you have to be able to listen to these things. I mean, unfortunately, I find that too many singers today don't go beyond what's available today instead of going way back to what is available from the past. Darling, they, they, some of them don't, don't even seem to remember Tabaldi, let alone go back any further, which is shocking. I had a, an opera class once, and I asked how many of them were interested in historical recordings of singers and just to raise their hands even then and I asked those two what historical singers in particular Tibaldi and Callas. <laughs> <laughs> well the thing is also that um, I think probably most everyone knows that a lot of these historical recordings are have now been remastered and that you can really get a sense oh, of what these voices sounded like. We were sort of listening like this and saying, now what's behind that awful recording? Yeah, and, and sort of crap scratching and creaking because they were sort of old records as well as being recorded. And I think we also could not get a sense of the size of the voices. No. So now with these remasterings, well, you must have heard a lot of them, Will. Sure, it's much easier to do that. They found a way to take out a lot of the extraneous sound selected. Right, yeah. right. And then, you know, um, I, don't, I don't want to change the subject, but I want to move into the, it's not all technique. I want to move into the fact that you also have to be born with this innate sense of what it is to sing, to express, to say something with your voice. You have to have all of this to go with it. Because there are people who have voices who can't sing in the best sense of the word. I think when I say you breathed the eyes, it's, it's also a case of, of feeling that the, there's, a, there's a certain exaltation about singing. There's, a, there's, a, there's an excitement, there's a thrill of, of, of being able to spin that sound out there let the audience enjoy it. Don't just keep it to yourself. It, it, it has to have a certain, certain abandon, a controlled abandon. But, but uh, as Jackie said, you, you, you have, to, have to really project and inspire the audience with the color of the voice, the, the, the timbre, the, 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 the expression that you can give it, the feeling that, that, that you can 
put into those notes that are written down there, which the composer, as a rule, has to which the composer, as a rule, has given very firm instructions. And you, if you if you read the music, you you and, and the, the, the 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 notation and and the, the um, um, oh, I tell you, it's terrible to get old, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you you have to have to really study the music and interpret according to what is written there. Let me bring you, both of you back to the topic of early training, because both of you sang from a very young age. I sometimes have the impression that in the vast majority of cases, singers who develop a good technique are those who had early childhood musical training, whether as singers or in some instrument or some other way. Well, certainly, we have um, a lot of cases that, that it was, you know, if we talked to even some of our our uh, co contemporary singers, our peers, the people we've sung with, a lot of them started as singing as children. Males as well as females, but especially the females. And how about background in other branches of music? Lots started on the piano or other instruments, there's no question about that. I always say I think it's a better system, the best system of all is to start early and play the piano. Yeah. And, and then maybe start uh, if you want to start to sing, then maybe after puberty has set in, you know, maybe. Well, I, d I sang, but I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't studying when I was a child. I, I mean, what my mother did rubbed off, as to her. I mean, she always vowed she never taught me, but I, I learned a lot from watching and, and, and listening to her, and it's something that I could, could do myself, because I hated singing in church, because when I sang, if people turned around and looked at me, so I sort of squeaked away in church, <laughs> sang in a little voice like this, and mother would go, sing out, sing out. <laughs> she said, you do, you do yourself a lot of harm singing down like that, and then in fact, she's right. <laughs> well, in my case, I did uh, start early. I had my very first formal lessons at five. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but again, I was, this is what it, you really have to, you need somebody who is watching over what's happening to you, mm. too. My father was very much aware of how I was being trained, and he, his famous watchword was, I'm not gonna let anybody touch that natural placement of hers. So, you know, what can I say? But I did learn the basics of, of support at around seven or eight. Me had too. A, had a wonderful teacher in Bradford, Pennsylvania. That's my other watchword. You never know from where a great teacher is coming or a great talent. <laughs> they can just come out of anywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but you know, luckily, as I said, I had him looking over my shoulder. I think he didn't want to really formally teach me because he thought it was <laughs> a little too close. <laughs> the family, you know, t giving lessons and all that, but uh, that was his choice. And maybe also because uh, I was a female and he felt that he needed a female to teach me. Mm -hmm. Is that often the most advantageous combination, a teacher and a pupil in the same voice category? Not necessarily. It really isn't. It can work either way, can really. I would say that in my case, I feel a little, you know, a little bit closer to working with a female. Sure, there's no yes, question. Yes, me too. But, but certainly, uh, it can work either way. I had a wonderful male teacher all through mm -hmm. college at the Uni University of Southern California. Let's go back to the topic that you brought up just a bit earlier about